Hi, do you know that educational managers need statistics to monitor and implement policy, forecast and determine the required costs? You are going to see more of this as we walk on. I am Professor Juliet Inegbedion. Welcome to the class. By the end of this unit, you will be able to critique the role of statistics in educational management. The three major roles of educational managers are one, to plan, implement, and evaluate. There are three criteria guiding the use of statistics in accomplishing the role of educational managers. First is access. You need to know the estimated number of students you are expecting to enroll in a school. You also need to know their demography, such as gender, educational background, geographical location, and their health status. This will help you determine the resources required, both human and non-human resources. You can only achieve this through statistical data. The next is process. You want to know how many students move from one class to the other and from one level of education to another. How many were promoted, repeated, or drop out. This requires statistics, including deciding the economic value of education. Finally, is the output. You want to know the percentage of those that graduated from a cohort. How many students graduated within the student year? What is the efficiency and the cost of wastage? All these require statistics to determine it. In conclusion, to be a successful educational manager, you must be proficient in using statistics, especially as educational planners. Thank you for listening.